Eyewitness News is bringing you continuing coverage of Sandy's impact on southern New England. Tonight, a local restaurant owner who's already working to rebuild one of his businesses is now scrambling to get another back up and running. Take a look at what Sandy left behind inside the Wharf Tavern in Warren. More than a foot of water filling the waterfront restaurant. And the Wharf Tavern is owned by the same man who owns the old grist mill in Seekonk, which was recently destroyed in a fiery crash. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Zotnik is live in our newsroom now with details on the owner and how he's handling the latest yeah. disaster. <laughs> well, this restaurant owner can't seem to catch a break lately. As you said last night, his Warren restaurant was completely flooded out. These photos show Sandy's wrath in Warren. They were taken around high tide last night when about a foot and a half of floodwaters came gushing in from the Warren River to the Wharf Tavern on Water Street. <laughs> Restaurant staff spent Tuesday removing that water and cleaning from top to bottom. Destruction like this, not a first for owner Greg Esme, who owns the old gristmill tavern in Seekonk. In June, a truck crashed into that restaurant and then burned it to the ground. Back at the Wharf Tavern, the hardwood floor is buckling, but restaurant staff was able to move some of the major restaurant equipment to higher ground. The kitchen, which is also up higher, was also spared. And by the end of today, we're told that the majority of the water inside that restaurant was removed. Esme does have insurance to take care of the rest of the damage, and he is staying positive. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Katherine Slotnick, Eyewitness News.